And what's up, good people? It's your boy, Billy Mac. Another mycology for you. This one is more so in a um, learning experience kind of thing. Um, as many of you know, um, I have been, I have been, um, ingesting a lot of red pill content and I, I I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm fully gone red pill, but I'm like 85% in. It's like I'm, I'm in the pool. I'm in, I'm in, the, uh, what is it? I'm in the three foot area. I'm not quite as confident to go into the six foot area. You know, I'm, I'm, Somewhere around there, but uh, <laughs> regardless, um, and you know, listen, it's it's pretty much midnight right now, so I can't I can't give y'all all of me in this video, but I can give you enough to get my point across. But like the thumbnail says, uh. Like the thumbnail says, the um, I, I I want the ladies to understand something about us men, um, and and I'm not making excuses. I'm not making excuses at all. I just want you, which is the one thing y'all suck at for the most part. Um, I want y'all to understand what us men go through when it comes to getting women okay i had to learn this uh i got homeboys that had to learn this every man has to learn this some get better than others but the the, the main thing is that every man learns this um there are a select few men because god has blessed them with good looks or they were blessed enough to be in a wealthy household. They don't need much game to get females. But dare I say, most of us men, um, those of us who are a little on the overweight side, like myself, those enough, those of us who are not um, particularly gifted in the attraction category, like myself, um, those who are not as, uh, who don't have the monetary value like myself. Yet, I am, I have been blessed enough to pull a couple women, very good looking and very attractive women in my day. And, and a lot of that is due to the fact that not every woman out here is superficial. Not every woman cares about your bank account. Not every woman cares about whether you have a six pack and not every woman cares that you're six feet or taller. Not every woman cares about that. So, you know, there is a chance. But the fact of the matter is you have to give yourself a chance, fellas and ladies Here's the part that I want you all to understand. We understand that you are the prey. You are what us men seek for. We are, we go after you all. We want you all. Well, I hearken it to a lion catching a gazelle. Um, the gazelle knows the lion is hunting her. The gazelle knows the lion is out there lurking. The gazelle knows that um, ultimately they are the prey. And therefore, when they see the lion, it's either run or two, it's too late and they're dinner for the night. And I dare say the same thing happens when it comes to females. Y'all see us. Y'all know we out here and y'all know we want y'all. 
But, you know, whether or not I got some dirty shoes on, whether or not I come off creepy and weird, what do y'all do? Y'all run. But it's only when we come correct, when we come with confidence, when we come with assertiveness that y'all allow yourselves to be the prey. And I know some, there's some of y'all women that are going to hate this analogy. This is not for y'all. Okay. This is, this is not for y'all. Okay. This is for the other women that, that want to understand why some men do the things that they do when they approach women. And dare I say to you, ladies, the reason some men are better at this than others is because some men have been doing it longer than others. This is practice, ladies. This is practice. And sometimes you can win, but most times you lose. Because dare I say, if every man who had confidence, who was assertive and knew how to speak to a woman, was good at it, then all the women would be taken right now. It is just that simple. There is a reason why some men are just better at this than others. There is a reason why some women, some men are flat out horrible when they talk to women. Now, I'm a little bit middle of the pack. Um, some women just... They, they just, they reek the sight of me, the sight of me. They see me coming and it's just like, ah, oh, what is this nigga want? You know what I mean? But then you got other women who are open. They, they get it. They know men. They know they're attractive and they know men are going to try to talk to them. And so it just, you got to come at them correct. But don't get me wrong, they're... The, the their weird and creepy um, monitor will go off. I forgot to buy that thing on Amazon. It's probably too late now. Oh well. Um, but yeah, their their weird and creepy um, alarm will go off. So this is this is video is more so to explain to the ladies if if a guy. I'm, and, and understand, y'all are women, y'all are vulnerable. So I'm not saying give every guy a chance. I'm not saying that. Understand, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying give every guy a chance. What I'm saying is understand. When some guys are come up and they're clearly nervous, they're clearly fumbling their words, they're a little bit awkward, it's because they haven't done this a lot. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's because they haven't done this a lot. And that's where the confidence comes in. Because I used to do the same thing. Oh, man. I was extremely shy around women. Extremely shy. To this day, I'm a little bit still shy around women. But you got to understand what ends up happening is I have just learned how to grow and just be myself. And see, a lot of and and the issue is... You know, I'm a little bit of a nerd. You know, I, I like anime. I play video games. And and so a lot of, and let's be real, a lot of women aren't, aren't into those things. So when it comes to bringing up stuff, starting a conversation with women, if all you know is anime and video games and superheroes and comic books and stuff like that, yeah, most women, you're not going to be able to talk to most women about that because most women have absolutely no clue about those things. So you need to learn how to find things that 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 open you up to what women are just know about. I love approaching women at the grocery store because guess what I know how to do that a lot of women don't know how to do. I know how to cook. So I can go to women and let's say we're in the cheese section, we're in the dairy section, and I see her grabbing a bag of a bag of shredded cheese. Um, I, I know 
I can go up to her and be like, yo, that bag of cheese right there ain't going to do you no good if you make a macaroni and cheese. And with that, one or two things is going to happen. Well, one or three things is going to happen. She's, gonna, she's either going to turn to you or turn to me and look at me like, get away from me, you creep. <laughs> or she's going to scurry along like, why is this dude talking to me? The other two things, she's either going to be like, how do you know I'm making macaroni and cheese? Or she's going to be like, okay, so what do you suggest? Bingo, you in there. And now you just have to start a conversation. And from that point on, you know, the world is your oyster as to what she, what you, how the conversation might go and where the conversation might lead to. The conversation might be five minutes because I'm the type of dude I'd be like, you need to get some block cheese and shred it yourself because that packaged cheese has a non caking agent. So when you try to melt it, it's not going to melt in a pretty way, for lack of a better term. You know what I mean? And she's going to be like, oh, Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. That's your cue to let you know the conversation is over. Okay? <laughs> she accepts she accepts what you have told her. The conversation is completely over. Okay? And and fellas, a lot of these ladies will give you an opening, but they're not just going to give it to you. And that's the one thing about y'all females I can't stand. If you like a guy, if you if you're open to hearing what he says, you know it's okay to give him a little bit of a nudge, okay. But that ain't how y'all ap- operate, and it is what it is. So, with that said, that's why the thumbnail says what it said: men are the hunters, and ladies are the prey. Okay. Guess what you have to do? You have to learn to hunt. You can't fish overnight. You can't you can learn how to fish, but you're not gonna get good at it overnight. You're gonna have to do it over and over and over and over again. And the same thing happens with getting women, fellas. Fellas, when you when it comes to getting women, it's it's it's, it's a constant gotta keep doing it. It's practice. Gotta keep going, gotta keep pulling. And then sometimes you might mess around and pull. A freaking eight, nine, or a ten, and you're gonna be like, "Yo, that was easy." You know what I mean? And then you'll appreciate it more. But a lot of us dudes, man, it's, it's, it's remember, a, it's a constant grind. If you don't constantly work on it, then you're not gonna get good at it. And ladies, understand? Just be. I'm just asking for a little bit of patience. I'm asking for a little bit of patience. Be patient with us, guys. So some of us are at the beginning of the race. Some of us are in the middle. And a lot of us are at the end. So just be a teeny bit patient. Just teeny bit. Just teeny bit. Teeny bit patient with us. All right? It's your boy, Billy Mac, And I'll holler at you next time. Peace.